Good evening, everyone. I am Atiku Rahman, an AWS Certified Solutions Architect. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create uh, or set up a MongoDB server on Amazon Linux 2. As you know, uh, from this November, Amazon doesn't support uh, Amazon Linux 1 anymore. So you cannot create a new instance using Amazon Linux 1. Hopefully, if you have old instances on Amazon Linux 1, you can use those. So basically, you need to now learn how to use Amazon Linux 2 extensively and you need to get started or get acquainted with this. So here I will show you how you can install a MongoDB on Amazon Linux 2 and then you can use it to uh, any of your applications. Okay, let's go to uh, create a new instance first. I'm going to uh, click the launch instance button. From there, as you see, there is only Amazon Linux 2. There is no more Amazon Linux 1, so you have to choose it. If you are Ubuntu users, then you can choose Ubuntu. That being said, we want to stay within the free tier, so let's choose T2 Micro. And then I'm going to uh, choose an IAM role, which I have previously configured to access SSM, actually Systems Manager. Then I'm going to create Add Storage. Uh, eight gigabytes of storage is fine. Next, add tags, create security groups. I already have created a security group, so let's use that. Web server, preview and launch, and continue. So this will launch an uh, EC2 instance for you. I already have this PPK file, so let's launch this instance. So uh, basically this is step one where you have installed the uh, EC2 instance, where you started the EC2 instance. The next step is to connect to that instance. Uh, you can connect it via PuTTY if you're Windows user or via terminal if you're Mac or Linux users. I'm going to use Systems Manager, which is very convenient for me because it is web-based and I don't need to uh, open any IP or whitelist any IP or even I need to have any PPK file. So I'm just going to go to services and then systems manager. And inside the systems manager, I will go to uh, session manager, which is actually the place where you can connect to your instance from this web-based interface. So uh, click on the start button and then uh, click here. Then click on the start session. This will start a session and connect to your instance. So basically it's exactly the same interface as PuTTY or Terminal. It is, the difference is it's only web-based, okay. So now we have connected with your instance. I put the screen below so that you can see my screen. I will type sudo yum update first. This will update the yum packages and uh, there is at this moment none because it's newly created. Okay, then I'm going to um, do an installation, but before that, I need to set up a repository for MongoDB. I have an article where you can just copy the commands. So, what you have to do is to create this file using vi on nano and then put this content for MongoDB or 4.4. I'm using 4.4. If you are using a different uh, versions, then change those version configurations. So, let's go to here. And then um, I'm just in the left. I use uh, vi, sudo vi, and then uh, paste the content. Okay, then open the edit mode and uh, place the file content here. Uh, you can just copy this and paste it because I have tested this and it works for MongoDB 4.4. So let's save this file. Okay, uh, this will uh, create a repository for MongoDB 4.4. The next command is to uh, install the MongoDB server. Simple, sudo yum install mongodb org. So let's put it here. And then you will going to install mongodb org. It might take some time because the download total installation size is around 384 megabytes, but hopefully it's faster. So uh, let's clear this screen. 
and then we have installed it we need to start it the command is there you can just uh, use it to do system system start mongo d uh, this is the command to start the mongo d server then uh, this is optional if you want to set this uh, mongodb to restart automatically when system reboots you need to uh, enable that by using this command otherwise what will happen if you stop this instance and start again then you will see your mongodb is stopped in a stopped state so you need to manually start it using this command so this is a bit uh, unprofessional if you are using as a production environment so i always suggest to use this system ctl enable mongodb to start mongodb automatically when you uh, reboot the system okay so that being said now i can connect to the mongo using shell so let's see connect it i have connected to the shell so that's it guys i hope this helps you to get started with mongodb on amazon linux amazon linux one is not available anymore you cannot install amazon linux one in new amis it's if you have any old server you can use it but hopefully you need to learn how to use amazon linux 2 this is my amazon linux 2 series i will create more videos on amazon linux 2 if you have any questions feel free to put a comment in this uh, videos description or you can email me my email address is given in my website you can view my website for all other other tutorials and uh, please subscribe to my channel so that i can create more videos like this thank you have a nice day bye